Good morning, so here we are. This is the room, I just uh, woke up. Slightly messy, but uh, it's all good. It's the workshop. Uh, Havaya 30. So yeah, I've had a heavy weekend and I put in full blast. I went all night and uh, I managed to build these things. I hadn't, I don't have a clue how I'm going to make them. The Akahorns, that's what I'm going to call them. Akahorns from Balkan Shipyards. They are going that way. They're going with the water. So everything's cut on weird angles and stuff. And it's all like messing around with that thing. And holding it by hand. And uh, I don't know, that might be the workbench or something. You sit on that one. You cut on that one. So like I said, uh, so it's just free stuff. So I sit over there. Oh, that's my boxes. These are vegetable boxes. I love them. They're so cool. And... Uh, there's a computer over there plays the music that tape measure that's the best tape measure I really like it uh, Stanley good job uh, what I like about that tape measure is that it's real small it's the smallest tape measure I've seen on the market Swiss Army knife I haven't got words for that thing I mean that thing cuts sheet metal cuts anything yeah this can I that, so that I cut it and then I, I made it like a chimney pipe so you bend it around and stuff and you make little bends in it until it slides in all the way so you just need a Swiss Army knife. It's amazing how much stuff I've been doing with my Swiss Army knife. Let's talk about the boat. <coughs> uh, Matuta, that's the armor. Okay, so there's going to be a dagger board in that armor, and that's why it is flat bottom. If it wouldn't have a dagger board, I might not make it flat bottom. Though I do like flat bottom, because flat bottom gives you a lot of volume, just bam, bonus. And it gives you volume down low, which is nice. And it gives you less draft. I mean, there's so many advantages with flat bottom that I think flat bottom is the thing. Um, uh, yeah, well, that allow your fillings if you go too flat bottom. I had this uh, Lake Master, it was called. Uh, uh, I don't know what he was, uh, three meter, three something meter dinghy thing with an outboard. He was a flat bottom, he used to bash the shit out of me. He was like, he was why flat bottom is not good. <laughs> But then you learn, and so if you make a little bit flat bottom, this is not a problem, this flat bottom, because it never comes out of the water, so there's not going to be any knocking on this one. This one's going to have a little bit of tapping, but I'm not going to feel it. Okay, so then we got then the bows. So then you got, so then wave piercer bow, <coughs> and then uh, uh, cut off bow, squared off kind of with a little triangle. Uh, I also like how you can uh, rattle and wobble and, and nothing falls. So once it's all lashed together, this boat will be super sturdy. So this I have to just give him a slight push. Let's see if it all. There you go, let's have a look at that. So two trusses have to get built now over here. Mm. So yeah, now start all the little problems and all the little uh, things about, like, I don't know, am I? I really want to be able to come through over here and I'm thinking even about coming through over here I mean let's say you're in bad weather it's kind of really sucks coming out and moving over every time but I don't know if that's how it has to be then it'll be like that at the end if I can't make a little rabbit holes to come through then it'll just be like that and you'll come out and you'll go in and a wave will come in with you and you'll have a wet life until it all blows away I don't know so uh, what else? What else? Oh, uh, I made a whole new knuckle. That knuckle I ripped it off. There's the old knuckle over there behind the ashtray. And uh, that's a brand new knuckle. And now this knuckle's going to have, it's going to be a cockpit over here. And a cockpit on the other side. So you sit and that, and that. And the, I don't know, will there be an AD skull? Probably there will be an AD skull, but there'll definitely be a, a ladder lifting ladders of some sort. I've got some idea. I'm gonna have to try and make them now. I want to have them lifting up like this onto the sides so and it goes up like that and zhut comes down like that and so there's a pipe involved and it's connecting onto the side of the hull and all kind of stuff. But I'm gonna so yeah so 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 the new lead, so the new uh, what do you call it knuckle gives me a it gives me a real uh, good uh, uh, it, it gives me much more size. And I don't understand, like, why not? Because he's not bashing into waves. 
I mean, you got as much as you want, the Akka is protecting you, okay? And the Akka that's coming on an angle, I even love that even more, you know? Because then the energy of the wave is also kind of less stress on the Akka, you know? Uh, that's, that's how, for example, uh, that's if we want to talk modern world warfare, let's, let's be a little bit warfare kind of, Napoleon and stuff. So tanks today, they, they don't, the old tanks, they used to be round and sweet. They were Second World War tanks. Today they look like Ferraris, like Lamborghinis. Why? Because when a rocket hits, it's deflected because of the Lamborghini shape. So there you go. So I might as well, that probably is kind of an idea that uh, physics thought up about a long time ago, so I might as well use it. So the more angles you have for deflection and all that stuff, and that's the shape of the lead pod. That's why this lead pod's made like that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, so there's a lot to do, so then I've got bunks to put in. So I knocked off most of my list, I was actually pretty good, I did the hard things. I mean, changing that knuckle, that was, that was business. I did this on Why Not, I had, uh, on, on Why Not I changed the whole lead pod. I built it once and then I built it again in ply. Well, that was a lot of work, man. Holy shit. So thank God, uh, yes, the force, whatever you want to call him. Uh, this time I'm doing it in cardboard and I messed up. And I messed up in cardboard, so I did it again in cardboard. And modeling is the best, guys. Modeling is just good stuff. Anyway, I'm going to shut down. Uh, maybe uh, run down to town now and uh, have a breakfast or something. Get on the internet. I haven't got internet. I'm living without the net. It's actually not bad. You get the emails coming in on the phone and stuff, but uh, the computer's dead. So it's a different way. Anyway, guys, welcome to Piards. Hawaii 30. Ciao.